There's some new developments in the Catalyst project now, an idea to transform the Quality Inn on Government Way into a long-term housing solution for residents of Camp Hope. KXLY's Jordan Smith has been following this story for a while now, and he joins us with the latest update. Well, Kirsten, 10 days ago, residents in the West Hills neighborhood made their voices heard in a town hall meeting and now they're hoping to have them heard in court. This is the 21 page lawsuit that's been filed by Spokane for safe neighborhoods. There is zero communication to the West Hills Neighborhood Council, residents or business owners alike. William Hagee lives in West Hills and has been a fierce opponent of the Catalyst Project since discovering it was coming to his neighborhood. This was first made aware back in uh, mid-June as early July uh, in, by way of the newspaper. Since then, it's been an ongoing battle, residents standing in firm opposition. Shouldn't you at least reconsider what's going to happen in this situation and stop it? I fear for the safety of my children. I fear for the safety of my property. The Catalyst Project, led by Catholic Charities, will transform the Quality Inn on Sunset Boulevard into a 100-person long-term housing solution for residents of Camp Hope. Spokane for Safe Neighborhoods claims the city failed to conduct an environmental impact study. Uh, the due process, the public notice, the public comment was over roads. Uh, the environmental impact uh, study also had been overlooked and over road. They further stated Catholic Charities and Dignity Housing cannot establish the proposed land use for the quality and property without first obtaining a conditional use permit from the city. We made several attempts to reach out to Catholic Charities for an in-person interview. They referred us to a written statement they released earlier today, stating, quote, This lawsuit is frivolous and completely without merit. We see it not only as a suit against Catholic Charities, but a suit against the poor, the vulnerable, and the homeless of our community. And we'll be tracking developments as this lawsuit progresses. Reporting in studio tonight, I'm Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.